Hey, 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 everybody, how's it going? It's the Auto Samurai here, back with another exciting episode of Danganronpa. Now, for those who were watching my Skyrim yesterday, episode yesterday, I do apologize. I didn't expect the game to crash so, like, late into the stream. Uh, that's why it was only, like, a 40-something minute video, rather than my usual hour, hour and a half kind of gameplay. So, we're gonna play some more Danganronpa, do a few videos of that, maybe get through another trial, who knows. And then we'll, um... Uh, Go back to Skyrim and play a little longer than that. Alright, so last time on Danganronpa, we got through the murder trial of Sayaka Ogami. Or Sakura Ogami. I don't know. Sakura Ogami, an ultimate martial artist. And it turns out she killed herself to save everybody. But it didn't work because Monokuma stole a dick. And then Kyoko came into our room late at night. At 3 in the morning. It, it's so late. What happened? Makoto. I have a favor I need to ask. What's your favor? So... Remember what Sakura said at the end of her note? I'm not going to just lay down and die. I will fight you. I want to find out what she meant by that. Okay, but... How do you plan to do that? Now Kyoko put her lips next to my ear and whispered. The data center on the fourth floor. What? Goodbye. I'll meet you there. We're gonna find so much porn. Without another word, she was gone. What the? Her words reverberated through my half-dazed head. The data center? But I thought it was locked. What? Ah, oh, damn it. I made my way into the after-hours school and headed for the data center on the fourth floor. Eventually, I wound up at the data center, but when I arrived, Kyoko's not here? That's weird. She said she'd meet me. She may be inside already? Put my hand to the door and with a certain amount of force. It didn't open. I tried again, but... Damn it! Must be locked. What was it Kyoko said? The data center on the fourth floor? What's this? Oh -ho! What are you doing up, mister? Yeah, Breaking into a locked room is incredibly prohibited, didn't, don't you know? Oh, well, I just... You're trying to tell me you didn't actually bust in yet, right? But... Hey! I can see that, you don't! Don't waste my time telling me crap I can see for myself! Unbelievable! It looks like you might break in any second, so I just thought I'd give you a friendly reminder! Or are you gonna try to tell me you were sleepwalking or something? No, nothing like that. I was sleep... Sleep study... studying, yeah. <laughs> It's 3 o'clock in the morning for crying out loud. Even I get tired, you know? Stop being weird and go back to bed! What's wrong now? Just a second. Why are you out here making a racket? K Kyoko! <laughs> you too? Now you too? You guys? Whatever, the two of you, just get back to bed. I'm positively exhausted from the class trial. It's true. Sure, you got it. Come on, Makoto, let's head back. What? Hey. Did you hear me? We're leaving. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Shall we go? Don't worry about it. Let's just go. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah! Go on! Get out of here! Shoo! Shoo! So we left and went back to our rooms. Uh, Kyoko? Do you wanna s tell me what the fuck that was about? And then? Goodbye. So, goodbye. Yo, Kyoko, what the shit? Oh, hold on! Listen, what was all that about just now? She woke me up, made to go to the data center, and it just happened to be locked. And then she shows up late, with, and we leave without even checking a single thing? What was the point of all that? <sighs> Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, what the fuck, Kyoko? I figured that would be the end of our conversation, just like always, but... Goodbye. Well then, good night. Sorry guys, give me a second. Sorry, some guy just admitted he had a crush on me back when I used to work at my old job. Uh, like several years ago, now he's all embarrassed. I'm like, oh, don't be embarrassed, it's sweet! Well then, good night. Sh sure And then, that was over. And then it's like the conversation to, uh, Family Guy where Abraham was about to kill his son Isaac, and then God's like, hey, don't do that! 
as they go down the mountain by I six like Dave Ramsey. Like, you might tell me what the fuck that was about. Mukuro Ikusaba. Avada Kedavra? Uh, uh, Axio? What is this magic spell you're telling me? <gasps> what? Kyoko is right next to me once again, whispering into my ear. Mukuro Ikusaba. Oh, these are sexy bedroom words. Got it. The 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in the school. What? The one they call the ultimate despair. What? Watch out for her. Oh, shit. Six, seven? <laughs> seven. <laughs> I got the altar lump. Jesus, that's depressing. Four by gore. Mukuro Ikusaba. Mukuro Ikusaba. <gasps> Uh, uh, what? Mukuro Ikusaba. The 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. Uh. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Oh shit. Here we go. Kyoko told me to watch out for her. Mukuro Ikusaba. That was three days before the next incident. Three days before we would be faced with another murder. Three days before the worst thing so far would reveal itself. A hundred mile dash. Pain of a food junk food junkie. In the meantime, the day after Sakura's class trial, that morning in the dining hall. Hmm. So let's begin the usual post trial investigation. Hey, you didn't make small talk or anything. We never just get straight to the point like that. <laughs> if you want to keep up with me, you must refrain from pointless small talk. <sighs> Jeez, how high is that horse of yours? Well? He just acts like that to hide his own insecurities. That's what I like to think, anyway. <laughs> Regardless, if you want to defeat the Mastermind, you need to follow my lead. They creep around the school like a mouse, but the Mastermind's pride is as bloated as a cow's udder. And if you think that's utterly ridiculous, I have some beef with you. In the name of my family. And no matter what it takes, I will rid this world of them. Huh? Hey, Toko. Oh, you've been pretty quiet. <laughs> Man, you're so boring now. You just sit there like a mushroom. I'm gonna start you calling you Miss Mushroom. What's your deal? She didn't snap back at you. <laughs> her talking makes things difficult, so I told her not to open her mouth without permission. Huh? What? But if she can't open her mouth, she can't eat or drink water. <laughs> I don't care. How about that? Are you okay with that, Toku? <sighs> Jeez, how low is that rock you're hiding under? <sighs> I believe this is the small talk Yako warned us against. Come on. And yet, I let myself get involved. Shit. But it is now finished. I will never allow you to drag me down to your level again. Let's go. We're going to begin our search. Stop running your mouth and start moving your legs. Pressured by an obviously irritated Byakuka, we all started our exploration. Okay, Bakakaka. Okay, Bakakaka, -ka I am going to do my investigation at the shop. I'll start my investigation there. I'm sure strange things will happen if I go into the shop. Give me that sweet, sweet moisturizer cream. Yeah, I got a mess of. Ah, oh, damn it! I was hoping for a prize, like a lucky prize. A clamp? Yeah! Give me a present. Ah, uh, it's just more soda. 
Oh! Oh shit, double luck. Uh, the creepy bu 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 dolls. The hubba bu 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 dolls. Well, that kind of useless soccer is dead. Oh! Ah, damn it! <laughs> Give me my lucky prize, bitch! Antique radio, old time radio. Boxing gloves? Huh. This is some really neat prizes. All right. So I know the fifth floor is probably. Yeah, look, there's a fifth floor. It's open. How many damn floors we got on this school? So here I am on the fifth floor of Hope's Peak Academy. The fifth floor has been opened up to us. And it's totally different from all the floors we've seen up till now. From reason, for some reason it feels unpleasant. As is usual, we check the school, the classrooms. Nighttime secrets. No more. He's so dirty. Money! Money, 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 money! Yeah! I kinda wanna meet the guy who's like kinda crushing on me. I bet he's super cute. <laughs> oh, does she wanna talk to me about something? Toko, what's wrong? Is she trying to say something, but she can't talk because Biako is like, hey, I think she's almost just a little more and I might get it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I have no idea what you're trying to tell me. She just let her shoulders droop. She looks so sad. I guess she just gave up. Makoto, wait up. I'm going to punish you. Gross. Ha, ah, Kyoko. Yeah, give me that money. That's the money shot! That is not the money shot, we do not talk about the money shot. Despair. Hmm. Oh, this is the last floor, sweet. Wow. Looks like an archery range and a dojo? A suit of armor is on display. It's extremely Japanese. It's very Japanese. The straw post used for sword practice. Do they use it for training here too? Look at the damn locker! It's a bunch of wooden lockers in here. Wooden lockers and keys reminds me of super old school public bathhouses. That target seems pretty far away. Gotta say, pretty proud of my eyesight. Can you shoot it with an arrow? What Kyoko told me yesterday. What the heck did it mean? Mukuro Ikusaba. Those are the sex words I want to use on the you. The 16th student. Lying hidden somewhere in this school. That's our safety phrase. Mukuro Ikusaba. The 16th student like out somewhere in this the school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Remember, Makoto, that's our safety phrase. Watch out for her. Um, Kyoko? I'm not gonna say anything. Huh? I can't say anything. Kyoko, Kyoko narrowed her eyes. Her gaze darted up towards the surveillance camera. Hey. You understand why, right? She was trying to tell me that whatever it was, it was important. 
the mastermind couldn't find out. But how did Kyoko get her hands on information that could be that important? So then... We're finished here. She made it very clear that a conversation had come to an end. Just like usual, I didn't understand anything better than before. Thanks, Kyoko! Hey, Kyoko. Won't even make eye contact. Guess she really doesn't feel like talking. Oh. Even though this room's totally enclosed, there's a cherry tree planted here. Or a Sakura tree! And it's in full bloom. Hey. It's quite elegant. This is what you consider elegant? Indeed. I lived overseas for a long time, so this kind of Japanese-style scenery is refreshing. But considering our situation isn't kind of out of place. Hi, baby. You stay with me, okay? Stay with me, stay with me okay? <laughs> Whoa! What is this giant-ass plant? Whoa! What is this? This thing is super weird and super creepy. Flowers aren't supposed to get this big. Is this thing real? Watch out! Watch out! What? <gasps> That's a Monokuma flower. I came up with the name myself. Try and touch it and you're in for some real excitement. Your heart's all like, wow! The plant's all like, yep! And your flesh is all like, bleh! I'm dead. In other words, it's a monstrosity. <laughs> it's pretty freaking amazing if I do say so myself. A student at home speak added improvement after improvement and created this miracle creature. The ultimate botanist. Although they don't go here anymore, they died during the tragedy. Actually... By the way, despite how it looks, that flower is super practical. It can eat paper, plastic, even people. So it's totally good for the environment. Well done. Such an eco-friendly creation is vital for the future growth of a healthy society. <laughs> Not that I know I think about that myself. <laughs> What's your smell, baby? Sprouting more and more nonsense, Monokuma eventually disappeared. Whatever it is, I better keep my distance. You okay? My dog's sniffing me all over, and I'm like, oh, what's the matter, baby? Is this a chicken coop? What's a chicken coop doing here? This place even has chickens, huh? Chickens, Eddie! They're the chickens! I love chickens! They're just regular chickens, right? Like, they don't need people or lay bombs instead of eggs or something crazy like that? It seems safe. cock a doodle doo <laughs> It's a chicken! It really is, right? Ha <laughs> ha Chicken noises! Step away from- <laughs> Oh, you like chickens too, Makoto? Yeah, I love these little guys. They're so cute, right? And there's exactly five of them here. Exactly. Oh, hmm. shit. Five. You know, the number that comes after four before six. At least in terms of natural numbers. Anyway, whenever the number five pops up, that's a good omen. It contains the mystery of the cosmos. I'm at least 30% right. It's a number of power. A refreshing number of par with hand squeezed all natural lemonade. He never lets me get into word edgewise. There's some kind of control panel set near the wall. Does it control the air conditioning or something? <laughs> it's for the sprinklers. Sprinklers? <laughs> yeah, it controls the sprinklers in the garden. Sprinklers are set to go off every morning at 7.30. Don't you dare change it without permission. <laughs> of course, the settings panel is locked, so you can change it if you didn't want it to. So that means the sprinklers go off at 7.30 every morning. <laughs> yep, you got it. It's super user-friendly, which sucks. If you get here too early, you'll get drenched. So watch yourself. <gasps> but you're not a little kid, right? You're too old to go running through sprinklers anyway. Yes. yes. Or do you have some kind of water sports fetish? I mean, a uh, water fetish. Yeah, definitely not water sports. <laughs> I'm gonna tell everyone. <laughs> I don't have a water fetish. You have it. You're gonna make Makoto cry. Just to be sure, I should take a look in the tool shed. See, totally that leaning back against the wall. Is that a pickaxe? That's a lawnmower here. Even with this here, he's actually gonna take care of the lawn. Wait, we have a lawn? 
so many flower pots. Big ones, little ones, any size you might need. Maybe I'll grow some flowers to put in my room. Hmm. Bags of fertilizer are piled up. So many different kinds to choose from. Choose the tastiest one, Makoto! There are different kinds of gardening tools here. Are they trying us to get, become self-sufficient? Crazy diamond. Wait, what? Something carved into the handle of this pickaxe. Crazy diamond? I feel like I remember seeing that somewhere. It's Mondo's jacket, stupid. Yo! At first all, I thought I saw through the skies. But turns out they just painted the walls and the ceiling, you know? Oh, but the plants are all real. It's been a while since the still vegetation. It helps me relax. What the heck? That's not what you're thinking, is it? I do not smoke weed every day. Huh? Why is that bad? Hmm. Don't you get it? Don't you realize the true horror of plant life? It's there, just beneath the surface. Beneath their calm exterior, they're always watching and waiting. When they decide they can't leave us with charge from Earth anymore. The end is nigh! They'll put their plan for global human extinction into action. Haven't you seen the movie The Happening? It totally happened. Well? I'm serious. Mark Wahlberg is a treasure in that movie. Well. We know where his allegiance lies. Um. This floor feels different compared to all the others. I'm not sure what it is. Is there some reason for that? Hope it's not anything too creepy. Bragsy. Rah! Bio. Huh? It's locked. We came all this way just to be denied here? The sign in the hall says Biolab. Biolab that we're forbidden from seeing into? Kinda sounds like something out of an old cheesy horror movie. Like Resident Evil! Oh shit! What, what the hell is this? The grotesque horror of the room struck me hard and fast. What I saw was bad enough, but what I smelled... It was sour, pungent, and possibly rank. I see. It smells awful, doesn't it? It's... it's... <laughs> it must be at least vaguely familiar to you. After all, you've been around your fair share of corpses. Are you saying? Hmm. It's the smell of death. Their flesh and fat and blood. There was no surprise in his voice, no shock. But he was right. I'd experienced the smell more than once before. It was the smell of death and despair. Hmm. But the smell here is strong, condensed. It's the smell of the battlefield. Monokuma must have. Hey! Come My on fault now. again! <laughs> Stop trying to blame everything on me! If you haven't done what you did, this never would have happened. Unbelievable. No, no, no. It's quite the opposite. The opposite? Now then. Yep, let me give you an itty bitty, easy squeezy little hint. As far as this room goes, I don't know a thing. I just left it exactly how I found it. What? Yes, indeed. How's that for a hint? Better than those stupid hints you get from NPCs and those mean old RPGs. Uh oh. That's pretty scary, huh? Blood all over the walls and junk. Of course, even in the outside world, people die bloody gruesome deaths every day. I can't wait! I can't wait! So it's not really a big deal. Just keep your chin up and keep on living, soldier. <laughs> What's he talking about? Just left it the way he found it. What's the meaning of all this? First, the boring shit. Oh wow. Oh wow. And the blood's red here. There's blood all over the place. I want to shut my eyes forever against such a ghastly sight. Hmm. It appears all the blood stains are dry. So our pink blood turns into red blood when it's dry. And their color has changed as well. I think it's safe to say this assume these stains are considerably old. This is all really blood? Hmm. Of course. I wouldn't find it interesting otherwise. Not like if it were ketchup or soy sauce or barbecue or Worcestershire 
Or sure, 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 sauce. <laughs> and it is interesting, I assure you. What on earth happened in this classroom? He seems like he's enjoying himself. No way can I keep up with someone like that. There are white chalk outlines drawn all over the floor. Like that Three Days Grace song. <laughs> no chalk outline! How many bodies were there? Seems the kind of thing on detective shows and stuff like that. You always see at the scene of a murder. I can say I don't believe it. Um, Bikikikya? About what Monokuma, Monokuma, Monokuma just told us. It's like I'm not even here. I must be lost in thought. Is he really thinking that hard? Or is he just flat out ignoring me? Alright, well that was creepy as fuck. I guess I've seen what there is to see up here for now. Once again, nothing I've found seems to make any real sense. We need to head back to the dining hall and find out what the others turned up. One after another, everyone made their way to the dining hall. And before too long, <laughs> it would appear everyone has returned. <sighs> well, still, it's just the six of us. That's barely enough for a decent volleyball team. Just a second! Hey, don't be a sourpuss! We gotta think positive! Besides, even if one more person dies, we can still field a basketball team. Hey. That's like reverse positive thinking. Anyway, there's no time to be depressed. For the sake of everyone we lost, we have to do our best. Plus, I feel like our journey is winding down to an end. We don't have time to be all sad and mopey. <laughs> can we stop all this group hug bullshit? I mean, nonsense. Sorry. I am a Togami. I do not curse. We need to find out what everyone has discovered. Yeah. I checked out the windows from the fifth floor, front to back. That used to kind of be soccer's job, but... Hmm. Anyway, no dice. There were metal plates on all the windows, just like everywhere else. Correct. Which means no chance of escape on the fifth floor, either. So, um... But when I was looking around, I realized something about the layout of the school. What exactly did you notice about the layout of the school? Just a second. You took a good look around the fifth floor yourself, didn't you, Makoto? Huh? What do you so ask? So then... Because if you did, you must have noticed. The fifth floor is lacking something very uh, every other floor has. Something all the other floors but not on the fifth floor? <sighs> Are you talking about stairs? There aren't any stairs leading up from the fifth floor. That's what you're talking about, right? Does that mean the fifth floor is the end? Correct. We're finally starting to get a clear picture of the school. Hmm. All that's left now is to solve the underlying mystery. But... Well, that's the hardest part. Okay. Even if it's hard, we still gotta do it. Yeah, he does right. Everything will be okay. As long as we work together, I'm sure we'll make it out of this. No, not I'm sure. We absolutely will make it out! No matter what it takes! Hey. My concern is with the biolab. That was the only place on the fifth floor that we couldn't access. Hmm. The biolab, huh? I wonder what's in there. Could it be? If this were like a cliche horror game, it'd be some kind of creature. The final boss, or a tyrant, or... <laughs> Stop! Stop laughing! Wesker, you're pitiful, you're pathetic, and you're gay. Or but... We're not in a horror game, though? Actually, you kinda are? Hmm. <laughs> Either way, we don't need to worry about it at the moment. <laughs> don't bother thinking about something that can't be understood, no matter how much you think about it. Naturally. Your tiny brains can only do so much, so focus on utilizing them efficiently. Well... I don't really like how you said it, but what you said is probably right. What? No. How I said it was right too. Asshole. Give me a second, guys. Man, I really hate the cold season. Like, I love the cold weather, but stuffy nose and all that. Ugh. You know? Well, there's a big garden up on the fifth floor. I found out more than one thing to be worried about. A stupidly large plant. Monokuma said that was called. Uh, Monokuma said that was called a Monokuma flower. <laughs> if you touch it, it seems dangerous, so we have to be careful. For serious. It's totally a man-eating plant. I'm pretty sure it's different from the one that lives in the pipe, though. Uh, wait, are you talking about the potted plants from Mario? Anyway, that thing must benefit from the sprinkler system as much as anything else in there. Oh yeah, apparently the sprinklers come on every morning at 7:30 on the dot. Hmm. Yeah, remember that. You don't want to get drenched to catch a cold. Yeah. Well, you don't have to worry. They say idiots never catch colds, you know? So you'll never get sick, hero. 
<laughs> of course, because idiots never get wet. Um, I think you're thinking of ducks. Hmm. I'm starting to worry about you, hero. Can you tell me what 10 plus 10 is? What the heck? Hey, come on. You don't always have to call me dumb. I can do that on my own. May have been held back three times, but that doesn't make you stupid. But it won't make you happy, I ask your dumb question. Uh, a hundred? No, no, fifty, for sure. I'm twenty percent right, it's fifty. Huh? So, um, what was the question again? Oh. Don't worry, you just answered it. You know? Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. You know? There were a bunch of chickens in the chicken coop, right? Hmm. That's right. Five. Five chickens. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> I love chickens. Let's raise them up big and fat. Then we can make fried chicken. Oh, or barbecue. This is, this is, this is. Oh, oh. Or how about raw? Because there's nothing fresher than raw, right? Uh, you don't want to eat raw chicken. You'll get sick. I'm pretty sure that'd kill you. You noticed it too, huh? That pickaxe? What? Oh, huh? what about the pickaxe? Well, there was a pickaxe in the tool shed, and the words Crazy Diamond have been carved into the handle. Have we seen that phrase somewhere before? Hmm. Crazy Diamond? Yeah, that does sound kind of familiar. It's true. I don't just think, I know. We've definitely seen that phrase before. Huh? huh? Where? Ah, that's it. I remember. It was Mondo's jacket! It was on Mondo's uniform, on the back of his jacket. His jacket said the same thing, right? Crazy Diamond. Crazy Diamond. You're absolutely right. Hmm. But why would that be on the pickaxe in the garden? Oh, side note, somebody showed me this, but uh, Mondo's brother, Daya, put that together with his name. He got Diamondo. Diamond! Could it be? Mondo must have stuck it in there and done it, right? Uh, the floors were locked by the time he was alive. Not possible. But we didn't have access to the garden until today. That's right! Then, maybe Mondo brought it with him when he first came here, and Monica confiscated it? Whatever the reason, that was stuck out to me in the tool shed. The pickaxe connected to Mondo. Hmm. Well, what stuck out to me wasn't the pickaxe at all. Huh? So what's it? No. What I noticed was the lawnmower. I'm thinking maybe we could use it to call for help. Uh, how the fuck do you... What? How are you gonna call for help with a lawnmower? God, I swear to God, you're so stupid sometimes, dude. What the heck? I don't know, maybe we can use it to make crop circles or something. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna make crop circles. Well? We can use those to call for help. Hmm. What the heck's happened to you? We weren't like this in the beginning, you know? You know? Well, back then, my personality hadn't quite solidified yet. I wanted to make sure I was the village idiot by this time. <sighs> I didn't think it was possible, but I'm more disappointed in you than I've ever been. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know you could have a real life garden inside of school. All that green is super relaxing, you know. I like to get high off my own supply. <laughs> Just gotta make sure you don't get body snatched. Okay. I wanna come with flowers enough to keep me away regardless. Hey, Pikikia. It seems like Toko wants to say something. What? So, why are you telling me? Hey. Well, because he told her to zip it or whatever. <laughs> ah, I'd forgotten about that. Jesus, man, I know they're like torturing her, but come on. <laughs> well, Toko, if you want to envelop us all in your putrid breath, I won't stop you. <laughs> you <laughs> ought to be master. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I took care of you. Oh, oh what a problem. <laughs> oh, seriously? You're just gonna take it like the dog that you are? Shut up! Don't interrupt when the master and me are talking. Um. Okay, so what did you want to tell us? <laughs> well, I was in a classroom on the fifth floor. And something caught my attention. <sighs> it was this. A knife? <gasps> well, that thing is huge, like Rambo size. What? It's a survival knife of some type. <laughs> but what was he doing in a classroom? Oh, wow. How would I? No. Very suspicious. What are you going to use that knife for? What are you planning to do to us? Are you going to bake us a cake and cut with it? <laughs> I'm not going to do anything. I just, just picked it up. 
I don't want to leave it the knife just laying around. How about that? I'd rather have it laying around than in the hands of a serial killer. <laughs> Still compare me to her! I'm nothing like her! <sighs> Listen, more important. Now that we have the knife, what are we gonna do with it? You know? Can't let Zoko keep it. Well, that's for sure. We don't know what she might do. What's your problem? I don't want it anyway. It it's too dangerous. <laughs> Huh, so what to do? So then. Why don't you hang on to it, Makoto? Huh? Me? <laughs> oh yeah, I totally trust Makoto to take care of it. Okay. Then that's that. There's no way he can lose it. Uh, hold on. Don't can I don't I guess they It's all clear now. It just shows how much they trust you. You should do as they ask. Are you sure it's trust? I feel like they're just using me. They're dumping their garbage onto me. <laughs> okay, so so here you go, Makoto. They're acting like I already said yes. Guess what? I'm gonna lose it on purpose just to make you guys look like idiots. F fine. Guess there's nothing I can do. I just keep it in my desk drawer for now. <sighs> anyway, that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> hey, Toko. <laughs> ah, do I still have the bad breath? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry, things. I'm sorry, things. I'm so sorry. That's fine. You made a valuable discovery. Good job. <laughs> ah! Ah! Did Master just praise me? <laughs> hey, good for you! <laughs> I want to be abused, not praised! I I'm training. I must be training. I never ever experienced such a dream. <laughs> oh, I'm starting to feel horny. I mean, so strange. That's so strange. Really, really strange. Oh no. <laughs> Whenever I look at Toko these days, it makes me feel sad. Hmm. By the way, did any of you find it? The other strange room on the fifth floor? Well, no. Strange is a massive understatement. <laughs> the smell of flesh and fat and blood. The white outlines of countless corpses. It was more dreadful than anything I've encountered here so far. What, 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 what the hell are you talking about? Hmm. The smell itself was horrific. Far beyond any normal murder scene. Every body smell concentrated. Huh? Oh god, I'm glad I didn't see it. I feel like I'm gonna barf just hearing you describe it. But... But I mean, what the hell happened in that room? So in other words... I can only think of one thing. A large group of people died right there in that room. A bunch of people were killed in there? And if anybody wants to find out, they can just watch Danganronpa 3 anime! Stop! Seriously, I'm gonna throw up! It can't be. Perhaps that's what was meant by the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Huh? <laughs> You're thinking the same thing, then. My theory is the mass murder that took place in that room is the incident said to have happened one year ago. You also seen in that room. That was the tragedy that happened a year ago? In other words... Precisely. The tragedy is another name for the genocide of the student body of Hope's Peak Academy. If that's true... It's all clear now. That would explain why Hope's Peak was forced to close its doors. Hey... Oh, I mean, I guess that all makes sense, but... It's all just... so awful. Not just awful. Super awfully awful. You're right. It's beyond awful. Terrible. Tragic. Hopeless. But still, none of us ever heard about something like that happening. Does that mean they really did cover it up? Hmm. <laughs> well, I think that's all the new information we have for now. Yo! So, now, what do we do? Hmm. <laughs> well, starting today, you're all under my command. But before we proceed, I need to figure something out. <laughs> no way! Jeez, how cocky can you be? You gotta bust through the ceiling if your head gets any bigger. Um... So... What does he want to figure out? Hmm. Kyoko's identity. Huh? Well... Kyoko's identity? But Kyoko is Kyoko, right? <laughs> yes, but who is she? The rest of us have a clear, definable reason for having been selected to attend Hope Speak Academy. He knows the ultimate swim crow. Hiro's the ultimate dumbass. I'm sorry, clairvoyant. Even Makoto is the ultimate lucky student. More unlucky than lucky these days, but... Yeah, whatever, go on. <laughs> so what about Kyoko? Can anyone tell me what she is? 
Uh, um. Well, now that she mentioned it, she's never told us. I don't know, maybe Ultimate Stripper? Hmm. Well, Kyoko doesn't really like talking about herself anyway, right? Hmm. It's not a matter of what she likes or doesn't like. This is a matter of trust. Can you trust someone who's unwilling to reveal their true identity? <laughs> we need to avoid raising any more unnecessary suspicion. So, Kyoko, it's time you told us. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> what? Why would she tell us? Wrong. I didn't say I won't. I said I can't. What the heck? Well, what do you mean? So... Because... I don't remember. What? I have no memory of what I am. You have no memory? You mean... Amnesia? What? If I thought you had a sense of humor, I'd say you were joking. But if this is a joke, I'm not laughing. This is very suspicious. You can't be serious right now, can you? Ugh. You sus... I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I didn't say anything. However... But it doesn't matter. Either way, the truth will make itself clear before we're done. What? So, you have no intention of telling us that I can no longer stand by and do nothing. Hey. What are you gonna do? Torture me? Look at that smirk face. She's like, oh, you wanna torture me? Alright, come, come get me. Come get me, bitch. <laughs> Nothing so barbaric as that. It's all clear now. I will simply limit your options. I can't allow you to engage in any further suspicious activity. What? Limit my options. Just give up. Give me the key to your room. But if she gives you her room key, huh? she can't go to sleep in her room. She'll be breaking a school regulation. Hmm. And if she doesn't want that, she'll talk. It's easy. All she has to do is tell us about herself. Just hold on. A threat like that. That's fine. Fine. I understand. Hmm. Good. You're finally in the mood for a conversation. Without saying a word, Kyoko walked right up to Bianca and said, <laughs> and, and held out her room key to him. And she said, fuck you. It can't be. You damn fool! Why do you refuse to talk? Because... Whatever I want, whether I want to or not, I can't. All I can do is keep telling you that. So, um... Maybe she really did lose her memory. You ever think about that, Pekka Kaka? Uh, um... If you really think about it, it doesn't sound totally impossible. This is the worst school ever, where only the worst stuff happens, right? That means you would fit right in. However... The worst school where the only worst things happen? Do you really mean that? Huh? Huh? Hey. Can you really be sure that life here hasn't been filled with only the worst things? What do you mean? <laughs> Perhaps I've said too much. Kyoko then turned her back on us and without a word began to walk away. Come on. Where do you think you're going? Goodbye. Don't worry. I'm not going to do anything to harm any of you. Those were her last words as she left. Kyoko's last words. The dining hall was silent. The only sound was the door opening and closing as Kyoko left the room. What the heck? Well, what's her deal? What do you think? It's Bianchi Kyakyas. But... I think you went too far. Taking your room key like that? <laughs> For her? It wasn't far enough. <gasps> or maybe she gets off on the attention. I can't believe her. I enjoy getting yelled at. That's my department, that b bitch. Stop talking. You're getting noisy again, Toko. <laughs> Come on! Sorry, I can still hear you. The sound of you breathing, of your heart beating, it grates on me. Hey. Are you telling her to die? I mean, I know how you feel, but... What's Kyoko gonna do now? Plus the situation. Just like before. It's no different from where everyone started accusing Sakura! And I... I'm no different either. I still can't stop anyone. <laughs> Kika! Um... What, what the hell? Why are you yelling all of a sudden? Cause, I mean... Cause... Cause look! Eh? What? What? Oh, it's you! How long have you been standing there? I'm very, very... Now I'm really angry! Angry! Huh? Angry at what? That's a thief! Yes, that's right. I'm very sad to have to tell you there's a thief in your midst. Huh? What? Hey! My precious! They stole my precious! Filthy habits! Your precious? Your teacher had such faith in you. And this is how you repay me? With betrayal? <laughs> Reality is filled with so much hardship, isn't it? 
no wonder people run away into their fantasies. Um... But what the heck is your precious? <laughs> Shut up! I hope all you get stuck in a high rig freeze and die penniless on the streets. What the heck? And then he's gone. What the heck was that all about? So, um... He said something about his precious getting stolen. Does anyone have any idea what that might mean? Hmm. It likely has something to do with Kyoko. Huh? Hmm. Who else other than her would be willing and able to steal something from Monokuma? Maybe she's the ultimate thief. Kyoko really steal something from Monokuma? But if that's true, what was it? And why would she do that? Hmm. <clears throat> uh oh, we need to get out of here. You know? We can talk about this more tomorrow. What about Kyoko? <laughs> However, uh, for what just happened with Monokuma and Kyoko, I feel like there's something in the air. I would suggest you take extra, extra precautions tonight. Stay in your rooms and don't go wandering around. Well... Dad, like we need you to tell us that. Goodbye. Well then, let's disperse. I'll see you all tomorrow. Following his lead, each of us went back to our rooms. Ah, oh, that's right! I need to put away the knife I got from Tucker. I think the safest pla for place for it will be in my desk drawer. But right next to all these tools which are used to murder people. But anyway, is Kyoko really going to be okay? She, can get, she can't get into her room. What's she going to do? Isn't there something I could do? Something I can... Huh? So I opened my eyes and realized I'd fallen asleep without realizing it. But more important, why does my timer say midnight? I thought we had no conception of time here. Did I hear the doorbell? <laughs> Kyoko! Are we gonna sleep together? K Kyoko! Oh. I'll be waiting for you in the dressing room. See you there. Hey, wait! Kyoko! Without acknowledging me, Kyoko disappeared into the depths of the darkened hallway. I know we're not supposed to go out during nighttime, but I can't just not go. Hey. Sorry for asking you to meet with me so late. It's okay. I'm used to it. Correct. Indeed. So then. Well then, let me get straight to the point. It's something you can't talk about in front of the surveillance cameras, right? So does that mean does this have things that have something to do with whatever it is he stole from Monokuma? Monokuma told us earlier that someone had stolen something from him. Was it you? <laughs> Indeed. That's right. So I was right. But what did you steal? So... I stole this. A key? Looking at it, I could tell it wasn't just any key. It was shaped like Monokuma. It was probably the only key of its kind on Earth. Where did you get this? So... From the Headmaster's room. What? You snuck into the Headmaster's room? But wasn't it locked? However... The lock was broken. What? Correct. It was Sakura. She did it for us. She did? Indeed. Remember what she said in her note? I'm not gonna just lay down and die. I will fight you. So Sakura broke into the headmaster's room for us? That's right. That's right. So that we can uncover whatever secrets may lie hidden. She did that for us. She violated school regulations to help us. She already decided to die, so her last act was to defy the rules of this place. Indeed. I know that the room was open after the class trial was over yesterday. But if I just strolled into the room, Monokuma would have noticed right away. Which is why I used you as a decoy. So he asked me to meet you at the data center in order to... Correct. Correct. I wanted you to draw Monokuma's attention. I took that opportunity to sneak into the headmaster's room. And as a result, I found this key. Wow. Then, what you told me about yesterday... Did that come from the headmaster's room too? Mikuro I'm gonna say this again. Kusaba, the 16th <laughs> student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. Is this the third time or the fourth time I heard this? The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. This is like the third or fourth time she says this within this video. It's, I think it's hilarious. Kyoko, can you say it again? Because I don't think I remember who this person is. Uh, did you find out anything about this Mukuro Ikusaba while you were there? Indeed. I did find a file in the headmaster's room that talked about her, yes. I don't know all the details yet, but one thing I do know is that Mukuro Ikusaba is dangerous. D 
Dangerous? In other words, she may very well be the mastermind. Mastermind? But didn't Alter Ego say the headmaster was probably the mastermind? Wrong. No. The headmaster isn't the mastermind. I'm sure of that. What? I don't have proof yet, but I would have no doubt that I'm right. To make such a strong statement without proof. That's not like Yoko at all. But if it isn't the headmaster, does that mean Mukuro Ikusawa really could be the mastermind? Anyway... Anyway, this key is the one, is the one big opportunity we've been waiting to get our hands on. Now that we've grasped it, we can't let it go, can we? Sure, but I mean, what's this key even unlocked? So... I don't know yet, which is why... <laughs> I need you to draw Monokuma's attention again while I go and find out. Wait, so you're planning on sneaking back in again? You can't! That's way too dangerous! And you want me to draw his attention. But we don't actually know there's just one mastermind, right? There's more than one person watching us. Is that right? But they didn't catch us on, on, catch on last night, right? Maybe we just got lucky? Hey. Or maybe the mastermind can't monitor us and control Monaco at the same time. Huh? Like I said, we didn't get caught last night. But as you said, maybe it was pure luck. Which is why we're going to run the experiment one more time. And if we're successful again, <clears throat> then what may have just been a lucky guess will be proven true. As Kyoko talks, you're just calm and collected as ever. I couldn't help but just stand there and listen. Hey. If it's true that the Mastermind can't watch us and control Monokuma at the same time, then there would have to be a period of time where the Mastermind is vulnerable. What we need to do is find out for sure if that's actually true, and if we can exploit it. Maybe, but... No matter what the reward, the risk is just too high. And I think what might happen if we fail? Why is that? I don't think you need to worry all that much, after all. Minimal restrictions, free to explore. <clears throat> no restrictions have been placed on our efforts to solve the mystery. Am I wrong? Even when I took the key, I didn't break any rules as far as I can tell. But if the mastermind decides to do something, all the rules of the world won't matter. He could just kill us all without a second thought. I see. I see. In that case, even if the plan fails, we'll still be able to prove our, or disprove that hypothesis. What? Correct. In a moment of crisis, will the mastermind break their own rules or adhere to them no matter what? In other words... In other words, we gain something whether we succeed or not. There's no reason not to do it, right? But, but... If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. Oh shit, she called you out, Makoto. We know the danger. But if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Hey. Am I wrong? At that moment, I finally realized. I've never seen the slightest hint of fear or despair in Kyoko's eyes. Her gaze was firmly fixed on the mystery head. The enemy standing before us. With that in view, she just smiled. <laughs> I can't change how I feel, and wouldn't if I could. Then Kyoko took something from her coat pocket and held it out to me. Huh? What's this? It's true. Consider it a symbol of my determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it if something ever happens to me. I if something happens... However... I'm not planning on dying, but there's always a chance of it, and a death without meaning is unappealing. Hey. Please, I want you to hold on to it for me. Fine, I'll hold on to it, but just because you asked me to. But I'm going to give it back at some point. You can be sure of that. Indeed. Yes, of course. Hey. Oh, and one more thing. You can't tell anyone else about what I've discovered. Sure. Because then there's a chance the mastermind might find out, right? Indeed. Well, there's that too. Huh? You mean there's something else? Well... It's nothing. Forget I said anything. I, I can't just forget that easily. So then... Okay then, shall we begin? Makoto. I'm counting on you, Makoto. I just have to get Monokuma's attention, right? Well, give it my best shot. Goodbye. I'm going on ahead. The rest is up to you. Her curt goodbye was no different from any other time. Like every other time, she moved at a brisk pace as she left. What wasn't like every other time was the sudden knot I felt in my stomach as I watched her walk away. No. Everything's gonna be fine. I know it! Because it's Kyoko. Talking to myself helps shake off some of my anxiety. Then I got to work. Okay, let's do this! Hey, Monokuma! You can see me, right? Get out here. I got a bone to pick with you, you stupid ugly bear. Yeah, flip dick, no bald, whiny baby bear. Uh, then a few moments later. Monokuma appears! Well, well, this is a surprise. You being the one to call me out. Hey! Hey! hey by the way. Huh? Most 
suspicious. What were you, Kyoko, up to? Going to the bathhouse in the middle of the night? Just the two of you in the middle of the night? Definitely a hot, steamy moment, wouldn't you say? So warm and wet. So wet and warm. I bet you guys fuck. Totally fuck. Remove to conform with local and international censors have lost. Beep. <laughs> All over her, didn't you? Um. <laughs> Not gonna talk, huh? Sure, I get it. You don't want to talk with a bear because he can't have sex. Well, whatever. Unlike you, I have simply no interest in late night bat scenes. <laughs> because I like to maintain a healthy life observation far away from X rated exploits. Oh, so is that why there's no surveillance cameras in the bathhouse? Wow! Bullseye! Or is it maybe because the lens get all fogged up and you can't see anything anyway? <laughs> Sounds like that's the bullseye to me. You need something? Anyway, you went all to that trouble to get me out here. Now what do you want? Oh, well, um, there's just something I wanted to confirm with you. Say what? Whether I'm a mademoiselle or dude fella. Actually. But in the bear kingdom, there is no male or female. Uh, that's not true at all, Monokuma. Um, actually, there is. What? Seriously? Oh, it's so stupid. My entire existence. Well, then, then what am I? This is kind of depressing. That's enough. I'll get stuck if I think about it too much. So what did you really want to ask me? Oh, well, you told us earlier that you had your precious st had been stolen. Was it a ring? Did three hobbits steal it from you? What's this precious of yours? What are you thinking? Listen, I'm sure this is a silly question. No way it's possible and all, but... Is that seriously what you dragged me out here to ask me? Unbelievable. You gotta be kidding me! You gotta be a hundred megaton freaking kidding me! You're not gonna ask about the useful, like how to get the best honey, or earth sign breeding tips. Mm. This is just crazy. Are all pubescent teen boys as nutty as you? What the heck? God, you're so annoying. Fine, I'll tell you. It was a key on my cock. That's it. What? What was that second thing? I found my mm. cock, bitch. That's a blank, stupid. A secret. Fill it in yourself. I can be charged all the way out of here for that. I'd like to see what's going on in that brain of yours. <laughs> and the next time you summon me for something so stupid, I'll open up your skull and find out! Dropping more than a few swear words. Fuck, 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 bitch! Goddamn motherfucking rip strip bear! Fuck it! Monokuma stormed off. <sighs> hope I kept, dis kept him distracted long enough. All I can do is wait and hope Kyoko makes it out okay. Oh, she'll be fine. It's Kyoko, after all. I'm sure she's fine. Right? Went back to my room and laid down, doing my best to settle my nerves and get back to sleep. Monokuma Theater! Brought to you by Spike Junsoft Company Limited! <laughs> Wait, what? What? This is super stylish, super fashionable game is created by Spike Chunsoft. And we got to buy it now! Then you guys have to recommend it to your friends, too! <laughs> oh, hey! I saw that! There was a little spoiler in the TV there, but that was for a future game. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. <laughs> Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Ah, uh, I'm somebody's old crush. Oh my god, my body feels so heavy this morning. Must be because I woke up so was up so late last night. Oh yes, God forbid you ever stay up past midnight. Oof. Anyway, I need to get to the dining hall. Sayaka, that's one nightmare I still can't forget, no matter how much time passes. I'm gonna be stuck here living a school life. Jessica, I mean Sayaka. Four plus three, Jessica. Five plus eight, Jessica. <laughs> Seven plus six, Jessica.
What? You're one minute late, Makoto. How do you explain this? Oh, uh, I was staring at my bathroom by accident. So sorry, I'm not feeling so great today. What's your problem? You really think a tired excuse like that is gonna work? Huh? Paul, are you allowed to talk again? Hm. I don't recall giving you permission. Huh? I just thought, I mean, since the, the day had passed, it had maybe re reset? Huh? <laughs> sorry. sorry, please don't hate me. Whatever my punishment is, I'll accept it. I'll hang a sign from my neck that says, Bad girl, I'll clean your bathroom with my toothbrush, and then I'll clean my teeth with that toothbrush, because that's so hot. If you stop making disgusting comments like that, maybe I can forgive you. <laughs> Thank you. I won't make any more dis disgusting comments. I promise. It's a big piggy noise. Wee, 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 wee. If I do, you can stuff my mouth full of trash. <laughs> as long as it's you and no one else, I don't mind. <sighs> it's no use. She's disgusting to the bone. So, um... Anyway, where's Kyoko? I haven't seen her this morning. Could it be? Not cool! This is worse than being late for lunch. For a day, for your wedding, for anything? Um... Maybe she's mad about what happened yesterday, and she's not gonna show up anymore. I can't tell the others why Kyoko might not be here. Best thing to do right now is just keep quiet. Very strange. Whatever her reason, I'm curious to know what she is doing. I know she's not in her room, so... You know? Oh yeah, you still have her key, right? What's this? Ah, are you looking for this Kiri Kiri? What? 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 What do you want now? Hey! Hey! I'm right, right? You're wondering where Miss Kiri Kiri is, right? D do you know where she is? Ooh! <laughs> well, it's hard to say. Huh? Paul, you don't know either. What? It's because he doesn't know. That's why he's here. To try and prod us for information. Uh-huh. Hey, don't you hate it when you ask someone what their favorite movie is? Yeah, it's some indie bullcrap. This is very suspicious. I feel like I'm getting whiplash the way he changes subjects like that. Thank goodness, looks like Monica Lynn really didn't notice. So I guess we're playing it off with just fine last night. Which could mean... Hey. Maybe the mastermind can't monitor us and control Monica at the same time. She have been right about that? Hey! Hey! So was I right? You're looking for Miss Kiri Giri? Any idea where she might have gone? Hmm. We have no idea. What the heck? If we didn't know, we wouldn't tell you. What the heck? For serious? Hmm. Hmm. I see. <laughs> well, fine. Whatever. I don't even care anymore. Sayonara, suckers! <laughs> as soon as he was gone, we all glanced around at each other. Hmm. So, what was that just now? Does that mean Monokuma doesn't know where she is either? Hmm. It would seem that way. You know? Where the heck she could have gone? Um... Don't you think we should all go look for her? Hmm. And how would you suggest we approach that task? Even Monokuma can't seem to locate her. Very suspicious. Yeah, can he not know where she is? Yeah, totally. That's strange. Kyoko must have used that key to sneak into some unknown part of the school. But somewhere even Monokuma wouldn't notice? Where could it be? Spent the rest of the breakfast talking about where Kyoko could have gone. Afterwards, returned to her rooms. Whew. Breakfast didn't help me feel any more upbeat, that's for sure. I feel like this is more just me staying up late last night. Alright, who are we gonna hang with? Whoever's in the garden, we'll hang with them. Fucka fucka wa- fuck you off. <laughs> when are we ever gonna get out of here? <laughs> Not that I have much to look forward to if I did get out. Should I hang out with Toko? What's your problem? What, more p, -p, 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 -p pity Aren't you such a good, good person showing more p, -p, -p pity I spent some time with Toko. Whoop. So we close. Or give her a present? Yes. Give her those dolls. I'm sure she'll like those dolls. Hmm. Hmm. Are 
do that. Where do you like? Where do you at? <laughs> You're giving this to me? I don't think it makes me happy or whatever. It's more uh, annoying than anything. You mean she liked this? <laughs> hey, I wanted to, to talk to you. Huh? That was strange. Coco never wants to talk to me. I thought she hated my gut. What's your problem? Are you l l listening to me? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm listening. <laughs> I just wanted to clear something up. I mean, I have to clear something up. What I said before, I don't want you to get the wrong idea. Okay? Huh? What did you say? <laughs> About not having any love in r real life? <laughs> my love is only for m m m master I don't want you thinking I don't have any experience at all. I was a hooker before all this. Even someone like me has gone on a date. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's true. I'm not lying. I'll tell you all about it if you really want to hear. <laughs> um, no, it's okay. Sorry. <laughs> I, I... This guy's really getting into it. I was in junior high, and out of nowhere, this guy from another class just asked me out. Okay, I guess I'm hearing it anyway. <laughs> he asked me, me to make plans for the date. I stayed up all night for three days planning it. What I came up with was, it was our f first date, so I wanted to do something traditional. I decided I was going to see something. What was it? <laughs> Are you stupid? When you're talking about traditional date stuff, what do you think it was? Here's where you go see something. What else could it be? You go see window shopping! Wanted to go see a movie? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool, right? You go we'll watch it, then afterwards talk about it all p p p passionately. In other words, it's I I do Tokyo Drifter, Friday Elegy, and Branded to Kill. The irresistible Freddy guy, right? Oh, um, and those are all <laughs> You don't know who Seiju Suzuki is? He's world famous for his one of a kind aesthetic. His unique blending of color. Sorry. The killer's the main character, and he gets riled up by the smell of cooking rice. A murder masterpiece. Honestly, I think there's probably not a lot of guys my age who would have any idea who he is. Yeah. You're right. I learned that fact the hard way. He must have hated it because he just here right in the middle of the first movie. What? He just left? After you pulled out the effort into planning everything else? That's awful. <laughs> well, it is what it is. Besides, I found out it, it was just a dare anyway. A dare? <laughs> yeah, he lost a bit bet with his friends. So he had to go out on a date with me. And there I was, spending three days to come up with something for us to do. <laughs> this is all your fault! You may remember that terrible trauma. My fault? <laughs> do you, like, humiliate me that much? Is th that how you get your kicks? I finally see the real, real you. No, I... <laughs> I what can't be around you, your perverted fetish anymore. I'm leaving. Eyes burning with hatred. Toko glared at me before stumbling off. Okay, seriously, now she's gotta hate me. Wait. Skill or B skill? Does that mean maximum skill points? Parted ways with Toko. Went back to my room. <laughs> Let's find Hina. I feel even worse than I did this morning. Body feels like lead and now I'm getting chills. Bad. I think I might be getting sick. Don't spend free time with people what? anyway. <laughs> I may be sick, but let's just hang out with people anyway. Oh. A person's ability is measured by the power they display at the point where pressure is applied. Yeah! Now that's a quote from the famous baseball player, Kenji Jojima. Yeah, totally! I think what he means is that you only really see how strong a person is when they're under pressure. I wonder how strong I can really be. Should I hang with her for a while? You got it! Okay, let's go to the pool. Swim time! What? Oh, but uh, don't stare, okay? I don't actually have a swimsuit. Just a shirt. When it gets wet, it's... Kinda embarrassing. Huh? Although I wasn't embarrassed before, but now I kinda am. I wonder how come. 
What's one with Hina? You seem kind of embarrassed. She didn't want her tits popping out at my face. Give her that swimmy thing. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Tumbleweed? What the fuck? <laughs> How thoughtful. This is why I like you, Makoto. Uh. Or, I mean, not like, like, not that kind of like. Seeing him so pleased with something I gave him makes me happy. Aww. Oh, hey, Makoto. I'm so tired. Yeah, you look pretty tired. What happened? Well, I woke up earlier than normal this morning, so I decided to do a push up, sit up, squat set. I ended up doing a thousand of each. Jesus, are you trying to become one punch girl? Well, that would explain Aww. it. Tired. So tired. I want something sweet. What those things you get when you mix flour, sugar, butter, and eggs? The deep fry. You go for it. Churros! Oh, I know. You want some donuts, don't you? Um... Don't tell anyone, but there's actually a bunch of frozen donuts in the warehouse. Okay. Throw this in the microwave for a few seconds and just imagine. Imagine the warm chewiness of that donut. You know what I'm saying, right? You can eat the crap out of that, right? You really do love donuts, huh? Just a second! Is there anyone who doesn't? Who on earth, no, who in the whole universe that can say they hate donuts? Um... Think about the sensation of biting into a donut. First the sweetness floods your mouth, then the soft dough cushions you. <sighs> Next you get that hint of egg and butter, right? Your whole body starts to melt. You feel like you're falling into the center of the donut itself. <sighs> when people talk about the donut effect, that's what they're talking about. That's absolutely not true. <gasps> ah, I can't take it anymore! I'm so horny for donuts, I gotta stuff my hole with donuts! I'm trolling like Niagara Falls over here. Just a second! That boy, Makoto, I'm gonna punch you! I got an uppercut with your name on it. Uh, I'm out of the way! <laughs> Wait for me, God of Donuts! Almost before she was done talking, Hina took off like a bat out of hell. Meatloaf's favorite song. Whenever I'm around her, I feel like I'm soaking in the essence of human virgin vagina vitality. <sighs> okay, I guess that's not the number. After I watched her run off, I went back to my room. Ooh. Ugh. I'm getting the chills. I feel kind of dizzy. Can't help it. I need sleep. No time wasn't for a while, but I felt like my body had reached its limit. As I dropped onto my bed, I felt like I was falling into a bottomless pit. Oh god, this is how Get Out happens. I was unconscious before my bed hit the pillow. That's not quite true. I didn't pass out completely. It was more like my consciousness went dim. I weave back and forth between sleep and wakefulness. Which is all to say... <sighs> I'm sick. I'm gonna die. I was restless. At some point, I found myself wandering through a strange dream. And within the dream, a voice echoed across the walls of my mind. I under... understand. Huh? That voice. It's so familiar. Ah! It's... I... understand. It's me. I... understand. I should... understand everything. My goal isn't to get out of here. It's... to stay here. What? Huh? What am I trying to say? Hope. This is all... for hope. And that's why... I have to stay. I have to stay here. Ah. Uh, oh, God. Thinking about myself makes me so hot and sick. Oh, God. Sick. Uh, uh, okay. My dream just now. What? So strange. Huh? Ah! It's a luchador! The ultimate luchador! <gasps> Pant. Pant, pant. Pant, pant, pant. Kyoko? Mm -hmm. Kyoko? What the... What did you... What did you say? She said... Dot, 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 dot,
over and over. Weren't you listening? Every day is peaceful. Every day is joyful. Happy days from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. Wishing only for those unchanging, unending happy days. Days of boredom, repeating forever and ever. No abnormalities as far as the eye can see. Life's about the tiniest speck of abnormality. If the world were like that, I'd consider that pretty damn abnormal. Huh. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! No! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! No, Monokuma, leave me alone! I'm probably sick. Ugh. It took longer than usual for me to open my eyes. Ah, let out deep sigh to bring myself up the rest of the way. The chills, the aches, the unfathomable lethargy, they had all disappeared in the night. All that was left was me, drenched in sweat. It wasn't just because of whatever book I caught either, it was also the dream I'd had. What the hell was that? I mean, was it even really a dream? I was desperate to recall it. I scrambled to grab onto fragments of the dream and read them up from my depth of my memory. That's right. I don't remember last night. I was dying. I was so sick. I came down with a fever and couldn't quite get to sleep. Then I heard a voice. I didn't really understand. And then... All of a sudden, I was awake. I was being attacked by a luchador. There was a strange person standing next to my bed wearing a mask. And they were holding a knife. I wanted to say I fought them off, but I don't actually remember. I feel like my mind had been detached from my body, burning up with fever. I was somewhere far away, watching my body move on its own. And because of that, I don't remember what really happened. But still, I feel like I resisted them des desperately, feverishly. After that, things go black again. Next thing I remember, Kyoko was Kyoko was there. But what should, would she have been doing in my room? What a strange dream. No, was it really a dream? How can I possibly find out either way? We'll find out in the next episode of Danganronpa. Thank you so much, everybody, for following along. If you missed any action, the episode will be on my YouTube channel later, The Auto Samurai. Hit like, subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next episode. See ya!